us sobrang ano ko skeptic ko in a lot of things i don't usually believe on anything right now to the point that i really also challenge myself actually the real thing is that you always have to challenge yourself because if you want to be better you have to challenge yourself number three is that uh, we're going to wrap it wrap it all up uh, i'm going to open the floor for some questions and uh, i hope you would learn a lot of things in this so uh, i'm just going to give you a disclaimer on this because probably some of the things that i'm going to say to some of you or to all of you would be <laughs> Some of the things that I would be saying to you or you would be seeing in this session would be um, but this, some, of, some of this is already existing. But the real thing is that this is a not claim in all solution to address your curiosity. You can really uh, research a lot of these things. I'm just going to be an eye opener for all of you. And uh, I do not enforce myself on my students. For example, uh, you believe this, you believe that. Uh, actually, uh, I really want people to investigate for themselves. So everything that I say here can be taken as a positive or a negative, which is, um, sabi nga na, I'm, I'm a Sigma male. So actually, I, I don't care if that is a positive or a negative. Uh, <laughs> that would be my, uh, my, my stand on this. Okay, uh, it is the choice that you take that will generate the outcome. So the things that I'm going to tell about is uh, we're going to have some definitions so we could set a common ground for understanding. So let's define misinformation. So misinformation is information that is false. Okay, it is false, but not, I highlighted it in red, not created with the intention of causing harm okay as you would see there's a gif on the or the gif file on the right side which is the five w's who made it where did it come from what is the source when it is published and then why are you sharing in the first place so that is a, the technical definition of uh, misinformation it is false but not created or with the intention of causing harm number two is disinformation which is by definition, would be, again, this is a false information, but you would see the intention. It is deliberately created, again, it is deliberately created to harm a person, a social group, an organization, or a country. So, dito pa lang, kita na natin kung kaibahan ng disinformation and misinformation. But the more sinister stuff is this, the malinformation. because malinformation is twisting the narrative which is this malinformation is in this this is information that is based on reality but is used to inflict harm on a person organization or country so it is the truth but they are intended to harm a person or someone you would see the, the link which is this is a definition of unesco itself as you would see here in the link so you could really verify the source for this. Okay? So if you put this on a Venn diagram, you would uh, potentially see something like this. Okay? Just to summarize all of that I said, uh, this is from the School of uh, Applied Mental Health. And I'm just surprised that uh, I, I'm seeing the, 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 uh, the picture for, for this instance. but. Wala masyadong nag, ano, wala masyadong nag discuss on about the types of information disorder, which is I'm going to give a lot of focus on this. Uh, there is a lot of types of information disorder on which may or may not actually peddle uh, fake news or misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation. So number one is it's actually the perception of the one who's receiving, who's on the receiving end. So, for example, if there is, there is a type which is a satire or parody, which is no intention to cause harm but has a potential to fool someone, which in turn makes it as, as claimed as fake news or misinformation, 
but this is just satire or parody. It's 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 applying comedical effect on the, on a specific topic. Number two is that it is a misleading content, misleading to the to the to the to the core that is it is to use it it is used to frame or issue uh, an individual. And then there is also one that is imposter content. Uh, it poses as a genuine source, which is uh, being impersonated. Number four is fabricated content, which is really, really bad. Uh, I've seen a lot of this recently with, uh, with all of this uh, shenanigans that's happening, <laughs> which is really bad. Okay, this is, uh, this is really the highest form of uh, malinformation to the point that uh, they're creating stuff. Uh, to deceive and harm people. False connection, which is from one topic, they jump in to another topic, which is not really relevant to the headline or to the topic that they're trying to do. Uh, so, so lang, we have a lot of these things that's happening, which is yung tinatawag nila na red herring. Has anyone heard of red herring policy? Wala, wala. <laughs> Wala pa nakakarinig ng red herring fallacy. It's it's you're you're telling something, you're you're trying to discuss on something but you jump from one particular topic to another just to evade being uh being disproven by someone who has more better argument that you than yours. Yun yung tinatawag na red herring. Uh another thing is false content which is really really bad. Uh, when genuine content is shared with false contextual information, uh, merong example, mami, I have some uh, examples of that. Manipulated content, which is also a type of malinformation uh, with, when genuine information and imagery is man manipulated to deceive. So let's check on some of these examples. One number one example is this. Uh, this is from Twitter. And... Someone has manipulated someone's photo or they grab it just to portray some false context on a, a, a news on, or on a photo. On the right, on the left side, you would see that uh, the headline is this is from Nepal. As you would see here, right? Sabi nila, this is from Nepal for, from a four year old brother. Uh, but then, <laughs> nagribat yung ano yung yung actual photographer that he is saying that this is the ethnic children taken from 2007 in in Hagyang province, but it's not about Nepal. So this is really false content, uh, content and context because they are they are manipulating this photo to drive emotions and also to drive another narrative that is really not from that. Uh, the, from the intention of the photographer itself. Number two is that this one is a manipulated content, which is, um, this is from the US, which is uh, watching every voting places closely. Uh, I think, and when I saw this, I, 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 ano yun, nakakatawa siya kasi, nakakatawa, and hindi siya nakakatawa, nakakatawa, dahil this is purely Photoshop, as you would see here, or this is really stage. Uh, this is really bad because, uh, as you would see here, this is manipulated to deceive a lot of people. Uh, if you if you are not really have if you do not have a keen eye to develop your uh, critical thinking skills, you might fall for this. But uh, it's really really bad. <laughs> okay. So number three is satire or parody. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of this actually ngayon. Uh, marami ako nakikita ganyan on a specific Facebook pages on which they put uh, satire comments only on, on a small, a very small text when, with, with a large headline or at top. And then bigla nilang babawiin or they're going to just revert it by just saying that this is satirical. Uh, this is a way to fool a lot of people because some of the some of the people that's uh, using social media is not really investigating on the authenticity or the genuine context uh, content of the 
of someone who posted the the message or the content. So minsan we fall for satire or parody uh and then we believe on some of this by not investigating enough. And then I'm just going to give some historical context on um yung bang mga fake news is and fake news, misinformation, disinformation is ngayon lang siya naging sobrang prevalent or uh I like I'd like to talk about some historical context on this. Uh kailan ba siya nagsimula? Uh ito is when 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 the when they started the the era of photography actually mas mas naging prevalent yung pag-spread ng misinformation. And I'm not going to play, play this video because I'm just here to just give you a context on this. You, you can watch this. But uh, as a summary of this, this is the first fake photograph. Uh, this is created by Vox. Uh, the thing is, uh, the story regarding this fake photograph is that at the verge of the birth of uh, photography, there was a race. Merong ano, merong uh, paunahan or sino mauuna uh, to develop the the first uh, technology on doing phot- photography. There was this was in the late 19 uh, 18, 19, no, no. It's 1800s. So so nung panahon na yon, um, there was uh, on the video itself. I'm just going to give you a summary of uh, all of this because I think mahaba yung video. And I'm not I'm not going to play this because some of the of some of this is copyrighted content by the provider, which is uh, not stealing their th- their thunder. <laughs> but I just want to give context on this. Dahil there is an underlying motivational context inside of this video of this story that is politically driven. Okay, there is one person. Uh, na he is a political um, uh, entity on which he deprive another person para yung kanyang na-discover o kanyang uh, way of photograph- photographic process is hindi maging well-known at that time. So, uh, I'm always into people with their intention. Yun yung pinaka-point ko in, on, 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 on this uh, on this slide, you always have to look on people's intention regardless if it, it's uh, bad or good. Kasi you would really see someone on their motives. Alam nyo? Uh, may mga ganyang bagay na bakit kaya niya hindi, uh, hindi agad... Uh, why did he prevented this man from exposing his uh, process? Kasi he is favoring another inventor by that time. Nakita nyo yung connect? Okay? So, anong nangyari, ang ginawa nung isang inventor na he felt very deprived of uh, his opportunity, he faked a photograph of himself na siya ay namatay. As you would see here na thumbnail. Okay? So, ito yung pinakaunang pinake na photograph by that time. And, um, napaniwala niya yung mga tao na namatay na siya. Okay? Yun, isipin nyo, di ba? Imagining yourself that you faked your own de- death by uh, issuing a photograph. And uh, if you would see the actual video, it's it's really um, nakakalungkot siya because um, there is a sinister force inside of that uh, motivation and the other person that was deprived was really uh was really um i would say you you would feel a lot of ano you would, if you have uh, somehow somewhat an empathy on uh, on on people that uh, was maltreated you would really feel the pain actually uh, ginawa niya dito the other thing that he did is that the photo that he uh, developed, he posted it on a uh, on on um, on the 
on, a, on such a way that's very poetic. Malalaman niyo yung sa video, on, on the video itself. Okay? So that is the face, uh, the first fake photograph. So, the thing is, what is your intention? Okay, you have to always think is when you're involving critical thinking, what is your intention? What is the intention of the people behind the story? And you always have to think of it on a on a multiple advan- uh, multiple vantage point. Hindi lang yung one point of view. You always have to think of uh, uh, what is the person's view on from from this angle, from another angle. So you could make a sound assumption. Okay, I said assumption because you can only assume of such things until it is proven by scientific research, data, uh, even court rulings. Actually, yun yung pinaka masasabi nating pinaka grandest of all, or masasabi nating yung pinaka pinakil. So what is your intention? Another thing is. This is the first impression of photoshopping. So, kanina, this one is involved uh, the photography uh, industry. Another thing is, I have this video about startup memories. This is a fireside chat with the people that has invented Photoshop. Meron ba sa inyong na, naka-encounter na ng Photoshop? Sige nga, comment nga natin sa, comment nyo sa inyo, comment natin sa chat. O nakagamit na ng Photoshop sa inyo. Marami naman sa inyo nakagamit ang Photoshop. O somewhat any photo editing application. Are you still there? <laughs> Nandiyan pa ba kayo? O baka na-disconnect ako? Ayan, okay. So, ayan. Buti na kami, I mean, comment na. Kasi baka, baka na-disconnect ako eh. The thing is, uh, I'm just go- going to also summarize this. And you can make also make and uh, view this. Pero, The, the the key thing about this video is that they are reminis- reminiscing the part on which this guy, si Russell Preston Brown, he's the first uh, Adobe uh, evangelist ever. Kasi siya yung pinakaunang, ano, eh, siya yung pinakaunang uh, nagde-demonstrate ng mga uh, Adobe applications way, way back before. Uh, not even uh, some of you who has born yet. Around 1980s. Ayan. So, Uh, the story behind this is that they are reliving the, the past or they are uh, chatting about the first experience when the, when the public has seen Photoshop. Alam nyo, no, nakita nila yung Photoshop, uh, it spur a lot of controversies. Kasi sabi nila, uh, is, this is going to ruin our perception of uh, validity of uh, sources. Kasi nga, pwede, pwede mong i-Photoshop yung sarili mo. For example, kasama mo yung mga presidents, kasama mo yung taong hindi mo kakilala, which is very alarming on that uh, on that era, on that time. And then they said that the intention of Photoshop is really to unlock the imagination but not to use it as a tool to deceive people. Nako yung idea with sa so totoo lang when you have tools some when you have tools uh, like this Um, you always have to think about uh, about the intention. But when ma- when malicious people are using the tools for not so good purposes, doon siya nagiging uh, talagang masama. Okay? You can really watch this uh, video because uh, medyo mahaba lang siya. I think it's around 20 minutes plus. Okay? Another thing is that, again, what is the intention? Number three is that I'm just going to highlight some of the new things na ginagamit nila for using uh, the tools, the technology itself. Uh, right now, they are using Photoshop to find missing children. You see the intention? Um, they are using Photoshop, uh, manipulating the graphics on which uh, meron kasing center sa U.S., na merong mga National Center for Missing Children. Parang alam ko gano'n yung ano yung pinaka di ano nila yung pinaka center na yon. Uh, maraming bata doon na nawawala na sila since around 3 uh, years, 4 years, even a decade. They're trying to recreate the image of the of the of the children. Ano kaya ano kaya tsura nila pag lumaki na sila? 
just to help them find these missing children to, to solve the, the case, which is very, very uh, uh, noble on their part. Uh, and right now, this teacher, uh, i-demonstrate ko sa inyo mamaya, meron, meron tinatawag na uh, neural filters. Masyado na kasing advanced kayo ng technology on which you can easily do this. Uh, mamaya, excited ba kayo para makita, na makita kung paano siya gagawin? Are you excited to see how it is happening? Tingnan i thumbs up nyo nga if you if you're excited to to learn how to do this. Okay. Sige. Okay. So moving on before maubos yung aking oras kasi marami pa akong sabihin. Again, what is the intention? Siguro nakita niyo na kung what is the intention of uh, of the following uh, examples. So I'm just going to dwell on the tools and techniques that you can use to spot Uh, inform this, uh, the following: the misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation. Uh, this one is what we call Photoshop neural filters, as you would see on the uh, uh, GIF on the animated uh, photo on the right side. It is a library of filters that dramatically reduces the different. Ah, masyado mahaba yung ano definition ko. Pero to 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 summarize all of this, it is a technology on which. Before, ginagawa namin ng sobrang tagal. For example, if you want to to people to age, to, to, to provide a simulation of someone who's aging, meron ng ganito. Okay? So, I'm just going to open Photoshop for all of you. Uh, I'm just going to unshare my screen right now. So, you could see Photoshop in action. So, ganyan siya kadali. Actually, it's just a matter of sliders on which you can generate. Kasi meron na siyang artificial intelligence. So Adobe right now is the prim premier or the um, the number one in terms of uh, producing such machine learning uh, algorithms para makapag-create kayo ng ganitong klase ng mga um, images. Which is the intention. Again, what is the intention? To solve a problem. Diba? You're not using this te technology to provide fake news. Okay? Okay, I'm just going to have some technical difficulties. Meron pa ako na, uh, my, my Photoshop is verifying for security reasons. But uh, I'm just going to move on. Later, magdo-demonstrate ako sa, sa inyo kung paano siya ginagamit. Okay. So, I'm going to demonstrate this pamaya. Meron akong lalagay sa ating, ano, ah, ating uh, uh, waiting list. <laughs> okay. Another thing is that Meron tayong ano eh, mer there is a way for us to be deceived by imagery, di ba? But now, it is much more um, harder for us to spot a lot of these manipulations because there is something, there is a technology called Photoshop for Voice, which is a technology that we, uh, that we have developed in Adobe, which is yung Project Voco. This one, is dubbed as the Photoshop for voice. Because, alam nyo kung ano nagagawa niyan. I'm just going to play this video for to context for your context. This one, if you play ko siya, because, una, uh, you, you, won't, uh, you cannot appreciate the, the power of this technology if I'm not going to play this. Okay? Um, can anyone hear the audio? This video presents a system that allows people to replace and insert new words in recorded audio check. narration. Uh, yeah. okay. Typical audio editing interfaces present a visualization of an audio waveform and provide the user with standard select, cut, copy, and paste operations on that waveform. Modern editors even provide text-based tools for navigation and support basic deletion and cut and paste operations in the transcript. But they do not let you replace or insert new words that do not already exist in the recording. We present a system called VOCO that augments the traditional text-based cut and paste operations by allowing the users to replace or insert new words using a text editor. Then VOCO automatically synthesizes the new word in the same voice as the narration. Let's look at some examples. Here's an example of editing a male voice. Yeah. Very early in my life, I separated from my mother. Imagine. If I, this is just as easy as just typing this. And then, very early in my life as a child, I separated from my mother. She sends chills to, down my spine. Actually, so lang. 
very early in my life as a child, I separated from my family. And you here's see? an example of editing a female voice. Had it struck squarely, it would have killed him. Automatic, pwede siya mag-synthesize ng voice. Had it struck squarely, it would have saved him. Okay. If the user does not like the default synthesized word, Voco can provide alternative synthesis results for them to choose from. I'm just going to pause this and um, I'm going to ask some questions regarding this. Uh, what's your initial reaction with this technology? Anyone? <laughs> Imagine, uh, ako, ako natakot ako kasi uh, my voice is uh, around the internet. Like hundreds of hours of my voice. Hundreds of, hundreds of hours of my voice exposed on the internet. Because the algorithm behind this is that kailangan, you only have 20, you only need, you only need 20 minutes of talking voice for someone to synthesize it and make it somewhat this surreal. Diba? You only have 20 minutes lang ang kailangan nyo. 20 minutes of recording someone's voice, you can already synthesize someone's voice. And uh, hindi lang dyan natatapos yan. Actually, mas, may mas advanced pa dito na hindi siya, uh, hindi siya actual recording, but real-time. <laughs> Merong real-time engine on which, for example, ako gusto kong ang boses ko ay uh, boses ng ibang tao. Automatic, kayang-kaya ko siyang gawin using technology. So, uh, I'm saying this because for all of you to raise your skepticism, actually, para masabi ko na you don't have to believe everything that you see, you, everything that you hear ng agad-agad. Agree? Yes, this is just basing from pre-recorded voices. This is just, ano, this is like 1980s technology. Uh, right now, meron ng mas bago mang technology na real-time talaga. I think, di ko alam kung nandito, na-include ko siya dito sa aking ano, slides, but uh, I just want to warn all of you na merong ganong klase ng technology. Uh, for warning this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. At tanggalin ko yun. Um, can you spot the fake? <laughs> Sige, pwede kayong tumawa. Talagang sinadya ko yun na gumawa ako ng fake, deep, deep fake on that. Uh, paano ko ba itatanggalin yung, ano, yung audio nun? Okay, so I just created a, <laughs> I just created a deep fake of myself. Ang tawag, hindi siya deep fake actually. Ha? This is shallow fake. Yung, ginawa, yung nakita nyo kanina. Hindi ko na uulitin kasi nakakaya. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, that is called shallow fake. Okay? Uh, maraming, ano, maraming gumawa na niyan throughout the years. Pero, ang mas nakakatakot dyan is what we call the deep fake. Uh, kindly, uh, I'm just going to, ano, to unshare my screen and uh, open a browser. You can also do it on your end if you want. You can go, uh, there is a test called, can you spot a deep fake? Nandito siya sa loob ng link na to, httpsmundisaster.org. Uh, I'm just going to uh, stop my sharing of my screen para puntahan natin siya. So gawin natin siya as, uh, ano, uh, as a activity for all of us. Basahin ko lang yung comment. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Stop share. And I'm going to share my desktop. Desktop ko na i-share ko para makita nyo lahat na nandun sa ano. Uh, share. I hope my desktop is clean. <laughs> I think I think it is. Okay. Sharing my desktop. So, can you see my desktop? Can anyone confirm if you could see my desktop? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm just going to go to this site, the HTTPS moondisaster.org and let's learn. And let's uh, do an activity on this. So in 1969, uh, the world gathered to watch a moon landing. So naalala nyo ba yan? Meron ba sa inyo nag, uh, naka, meron na bang nakapagturo sa inyo ng ganyan? Uh, until now. So 
I'm just going to tap the button to continue. Uh, can you stop? Uh, can you spot? Stop. Can you spot a deep fake? Actually, yes. Ako kaya ko. Uh, I've been trained in the multimedia industry for uh, for for decades, and I can easily spot something that is fake. So let's just yeah. okay. Okay, hot shot. Let's see. Color coverage. Uh, this is a very long video, but sponsored by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts Let's more watch. in your morning. Here from CBS News Apollo headquarters at Kennedy Space Center, correspondent Walter Cronkite. Good morning. It's T minus one hour, 29 minutes, and 53 seconds and counting in just an hour and a half. If all goes well, Apollo 11 astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins or to lift off from pad 39A out there on the voyage man always has dreamed about. Next stop for them, the moon. So it is now that there is time, uh, if only briefly in this busy morning, to think of those three men and the burdens and the hopes that they carry on behalf of all mankind. Here's yeah, this Jack is not TBT para to, to spot We're deep approaching deep. the 60-second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks good, Lolly. Building shaky. Getting that bumping we've become used to. What a moment. I am on the way to the moon. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. This is Apollo 11. I'm reading you loud and clear. Go ahead, Elmer. Listen, Dave, everything's going just swimmingly. We see out our side windows the sun going by, and of course, out one of our windows right now, we've got the Earth. Roger. Time to begin maneuver is uh, 30503. We approach the moon. Uh, the moon will gradually grow larger and larger in size. Four forward, drift into the right a little. Okay. How are you looking? All your systems go. Twelve oh two. Shot alarm. Say again. Shot alarm. Watch out, what's, what's happening? Twelve oh one. Roger. Twelve oh one. Twelve oh two. Eleven. Now, well, may be the problem here, and we can monitor. Oh, the problem. That's terrible. Let me try auto again now, see what happens. One minute. One minute. Roger, we got you. Lost data flow. We've had shutdown. So, uh, I was thinking, yo, what happened? So, uh, after that, they had a special report from the White House, and uh, President Nixon is about to address the nation regarding what's happened. I think some of. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Okay. Fate has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for their recovery. But they also know that there is hope for mankind in their sacrifice. Okay, I'm just going to forward this uh, para magawa natin pinaka-activity. So, I'm going nation. to address the nation with the explanation. By the... Or pa natin... Then after this, uh, 
as we approach the final seconds. So closing for the program. And then we're going to have the activity here. Again. Okay. So uh, on the chat, I want some of you, actually mas maganda lahat kayo, to, uh, to participate on this. So eto, let's see if you spotted the deep fake. Was the text of the speech real? Sige nga, i-comment nyo nga kung siya ba ay real or fake. Sige. Katingin nyo, yung speech na binigay ni President Nixon, is it real or fake? This is a challenge, ha? Sige, ilagay nyo lang sa chat. Real or fake? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Fake, 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 fake. Sige. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Actually, the speech is real. You know why? Because meron sila mga contingency na ginagawa sa US. If ever mangyari to, mangyari ganyan, they are like five steps ahead on a lot of things. So, in this part, the speech was really real. Sabi nga, in case something went wrong, the astronauts were stranded on the moon, meron na sila nakahandang speech for that. Okay? So, yan. Tignan nyo. <laughs> Number two, next. Okay, let's see if you spotted the deep fake. Was the Nixon's, uh, was Nixon's face real? Sige, sagot nyo. Real or fake? Totoo ba yan o hindi? Sige. I'm going to give you again 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. I love the skepticism. <laughs> Actually, it's really fake. It's a deep fake. Ganon siya, ka, ganon siya ka sophisticated. Ibig, ibig sabihin, ganon kagaling yung pagkakagawa ng deep fake na yon. Nixon's appearance on that was a deep fake. They use artificial intelligence to manipulate the area around the, his mouth. Yung mouth lang niya, actually, ah, to make him appear to deliver the speech. Pero yung actual na nandoon na uh, footage, this is from a real footage. Ang manipulate nila yung pagbuka ng bibig ni President Nixon. Okay? Yeah, so next. Okay, let's see if you spotted the defect. Was Nixon's voice real? Sige nga. 10 seconds again. Still fake. Okay, still fake. Okay, sige. I think you got this. It is fake. The voice of uh, Nixon was deep fake too. It was synthesized using artificial intelligence and converted an actor's voice. This is from another actor's ano, ah, voice. Ah. Oh, nagsabi ng real. This is fake. Okay, yung voice na yun, fake. Okay, Number, uh, last one. Um, let's see if you spotted the deep fake. Was the space footage real? Sige. Was the space footage real? Yung nagsabing real, real, real. Okay, sige. Yung nagsabi ng real. Okay, let's go with real. Yes. All of them is real, pero eto yan. Eto yung sinasabi ko sa inyong malinformation. All of them are real, pero they are cut or narrated or edited in such a way that it is portraying the story na lumub na lumbog na na the mission is a failure okay however we use techniques of misinformation to tell a story vastly different from the actual from what actually happened so nakita nyo sino sa inyo na nakakuha ng 3 out of 
four. O sino nakakuha ng four out of four? Okay? Ayan, sige. Congratulations! Uh, you are now on your way to becoming a deep fake detective. Okay? Ayan. So I'm just going to share again my screen for my slides. Uh, before that, sige, mag-demonstrate mag ako ng Photoshop on your, ano, on your behalf. So right now, I'm just going to open Photoshop. Can you see my Photoshop window right now? Or do I have still have time? <laughs> okay. So ganito siya ka ano, ganito siya ka dali na ngayon. If you go to new file or I'm going to open a file na lang. Open a file uh, on my computer. So ang dami ng files ko na diyan. Uh, let's see. This is from the desktop. Sorry for the clutter. Ang dami kong files na ginagawa recently. Okay, let's go to Photoshop Neural Filters Magic. In this example, um, let's go to Colorize. This one. One of my favorites, which is Nikolai Tesla. Wala pang favorite ni Nikolai Tesla dito? Wala. Okay, sige. Okay lang. That's a preference. <laughs> Uh, okay, so right now in Photoshop, sobrang dali na lang. Uh, you can go to plugins and then a filter. And then you can go to what we call neural filters. So ano nagawa ng neural filters? It allows you to use artificial intelligence to manipulate uh, photos ng mas mabilis. Unlike before, you have to do masking, you have to be a Photoshop master to use uh, the following techniques. Meron pang ang paraan on which you can age a person, you can colorize a photo. Pero again, it, it is, uh, it is uh, the intention. Tignan natin kung ano yung intention. Oh, I think I cannot demonstrate this right now because I have to download the file again, which is 215 MB. Okay, sige. Uh, when you are creating this, meron pa, meron pa kasi sila mga plugins na din na-download eh. So, on the fly, let's, try if I could just talk it out before. So, ito. Makita nyo. Ito yung original uh, content. And then, using artificial intelligence and using smart portrait as a plug-in, you can generate a photo of this to this. Nang ganun kadali. You can manipulate the eyes. For example, gusto nyo tumingin siya dito sa kabilang side, dito sa kabilang side. Gusto nyo mag-generate ng nakangiti siya. Pero this was not really uh, shot at the first place. Yung artificial intelligence na ang gumagawa at nagmamanipulate ng, ano, ng mga pixels in such a way na magmumukha siyang ano, uh, believable. As you would see here. Tignan nyo, di ba? If your eyes are not really that well trained, this will really fool you on believing that this photo really exists. Di ba? I hope, uh, medyo ba, may konting time pa ako. Uh, do I still have time? <laughs> Maray pa akong i-demonstrate eh. Okay, 2.15. Na, konti na lang, konti na lang. Any questions uh, to the students? Mas gusto ko yung mail. Ayan, okay, okay. So, eto na. As you would see here, uh, I can manipulate this portrait. And for example, gusto ko mas nakangiti pa siya. I can easily drag the sliders here and generate a much more happier Tesla on this. Or a brand new Tesla. Okay, no pun intended, pero <laughs> a new Tesla. Right. Okay. Wala nakagets nung pun. Okay. <laughs> As you would see here, mag-iisip siya, it will be processing in the cloud. Nagawa siya ng uh, synthetic uh, imagery. You can also dial in a lot of features. For example, if you want to have facial hair, gusto nyo mas mahaba pa yung kanyang... Uh, uh, mas madami pa yung facial hair niya, mas mahaba yung kanyang hair, o yung thickness ng kanyang hair. Eye direction, you can really, as you would see here, tingnan nyo, oh. Diba? Medyo mas nakangiti siya ng kaunti. Okay? Uh, check natin, before and after. Wait, where is that? Let's see, before and after. Before, after. Diba? May konting changes, pero... As you would see, hindi pa siya ano, hindi pa siya ganun ka fine tune. Ah, uh, maraming pang technology, ano, dati sobrang ano, sobrang crude nung technology pero 
uh, depende kasi yan sa internet speed ninyo and yung mga settings na ginagawa nyo dito. Pero you would really uh, see that sobrang dali na siyang gawin. For example, gusto ko, ano, gusto ko siyang mas matanda or I want to manipulate more settings on this. For example, um, this one, facial age. Ngayon, patandain ko siya. Pwede ko siyang gawin na ganun. Okay? Okay. So, that's how, that's the process right now kung paano siya ginagawa. And uh, to counter this, meron ding isang technology. Eh, nakita nyo, medyo tumanda siya ng konti. Numupis yung buhok niya. Pero before that, to counteract this, meron ding technology ang tawag sa kanya forensically. Uh, meron naman nakarinig sa inyo nun, forensically. It is a tool on which you can detect uh, manipulations of images. As you would see here, tingnan nyo. This is a website on which you can load a photo and examine if it is real or not. Okay? Yeah, usog ko lang ito ah. Lagi ko dito. So, eto, marami siyang mga properties on which you can also see the uh, detection level, the clone detection level. For example, if you see na parang minanipulate yung pinaka-photo, magkakaroon siya ng, ano, ng mga error level analysis, noise analysis. This is, ano, this is, at yan, ano, nakita nyo? So, this one is real. Pero ito, it, it is pertaining, it is uh, reflected na parang iba yung kanyang error, ano, yung kanyang noise, yung pinaka uh, composition niya. So, dito pa lang mapansin nyo, ah, okay, inedit to. Ito rin, inedit to. Tignan nyo. Ito, inedit to. Pero ito, as you would see here, the noise is consistent on this part. And pagdating dito, medyo may konting inedit dito. Kasi hindi tama yung ano niya eh, yung noise levels niya dito. Okay? And marami pa. We can also use uh, level sweep. As you would see here, uh, this is uh, averaging the levels of the pixels. And marami pa siyang settings. Uh, you can also check the metadata kung siya ba ay uh, kinuhanan on a specific camera, ano yung klaseng settings yung ginamit dito para malaman nyo kung siya ba ay manipulate sa Photoshop. Yan. So, you can use the tool forensically for this. Okay? Ayan. So, I'm just going to share my... Where is my... Uh, stop share and share my slides. Yes. My slides. Questions? Audience window. Where's the audience window? Where is the tab? I cannot find the tab. Wait. Okay, here. Okay. So, can you see now my slides? Just checking with the audience kung nakikita nyo na. Yes. Yan. Okay. So, we're done with this. Forward this. Uh, yun. Meron tayong tinatawag na deep fakes at meron tayong shallow fakes. Yung shallow fakes, yun yung nakita nyo kanina na ako nung in my 20s. And I'm just joking. <laughs> um, some of this is can easily be spot. Lalong-lalo na if you're altering sound. Ito yung mga methods nila kung paano siya ginagawa. It's altering the sound. Uh, adding frames to freeze the moment. For example, meron silang dinagdag na ilang frames para mapakita na parang there is a motion or uh, at yung pangatlo, which is changing the narrative by splicing the story. Lahalala nyo kanina yung sa The Moon Disaster Project na ginawa nilang website. They are splicing uh, videos on which to tell another narrative. Kasi that's part of uh, techniques in video editing. Eh. So, let's check. Ito ah, another checking. Uh, I'm just going to play some of this. Ay, hindi, baka makopyright tayo, pero... <laughs> uh, you can watch this. Uh, sa tingin nyo, this one is fake or this is real? Sa tingin nyo. This is from YouTube, ah. makikita nyo to sa MBN News. Sa tingin nyo, this is fake or this is real? I'm not going to play this baka kasi makopyright kayo eh. Sige, comment nyo. Is this real or this is fake? Based from the thumbnail itself. Hula lang muna, hula. 
guess. Okay, so may nagsabi na ng, ano, ng fake. This one is uh, this one is a um, um, a thing that they did on South Korea. Uh, the, uh, the 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 news anchor was created as a deep fake. Okay? Etong uh, tong ang tong news anchor na to, deep fake lahat 'yan. But the the but the, the news itself is real. Ang ginawa nila kasi parang naka-live ata yung uh, yung ano yung uh, news anchor na to, naka-live siya parang uh, mas maha, parang naka-medical leave siya at that time. So gumawa sila ng deep fake that he is saying the news. Imagine, 'di ba? With the intention, nakita nyo, the intention was the intention was good. Pero uh, ano, morality in on a moral on a moral state Um, medyo na ano, medyo parang nakakabahala siya. Iba. Pero the, the, the news anchor itself, uh, may trabaho pa naman siya. Hindi <laughs> pa naman siya napalitan. Okay? May trabaho pa rin siya. Another thing is for checking is that this one. Uh, sa tingin nyo, I'm just going to play some of this. Kasi ano naman to eh. Uh, avail- yeah. Talking with Satchel Page, Lillian Gish, and uh, Salvador Dali. Forward natin. I was wondering, Meron ba sa inyo nakakilala kay Salvador Dali? Problem of one arm of rhinoceros. Ayan. Uh, sikat na sikat siya na ano, artist. Okay. At tingin nyo, this is uh, real or this is fake? Sige. This is real or this is fake? Yes. Buti naman. <laughs> this is real. Okay? This is real. Uh, I'm just saying this because right now, alam nyo ba, na si Salvador, Salvador Dali has a, has been, in, ano, meron siyang, ano, meron in-apply sa kanya na deep fake technology on a certain museum on the US na makakausap mo siya. Actually, makakausap mo siya, makaka-interact mo siya, uh, na parang buhay siya on, on his prime. Okay, ah? on his prime. Uh, to exhibit his work, pwede mo siya makausap, which is sobrang phenomenal. Imagine, uh, parang binuhay mo yung isang tao to the point that it's using artificial intelligence for educational purposes. Okay? For educational purposes. So, eto, this one is Strike a Pose. Uh, this is a upcoming technology that uh, we've been developing on Adobe, which is, uh, pakita ko sa inyo, sa nadi lang naman. Uh, Uh, the idea is this Brand in exactly the same way right With now Morpheus, I can run this code that uses the same Adobe Sensei AI magic that powers neural filters tingin nyo kung ano pwede magawa dito this is a photo pero process, and every single pwede nyo magawa yan has been updated. as you can see now I'm smiling in the video hey okay partner I love that the technology actually did what I would have had to do tediously now it's really more convenient Moreover, the technology that was is, developed that to make is an the results upcoming, more accurate uh, and consistent. Nawawala. The same neural filters <laughs> magic, but bumalik. now applied to the... In- okay, forward natin. So, nakita nyo, uh, this technology is really premier, premiering. Tatawag nilang malapit na siyang lumabas. On which it will give you access at your fingertips. It's malapit na malapit na talaga siya. Uh, eto kanina pinakita ko sa inyo yung forensically it is a website you don't need to install this uh, on which you can analyze the pixels on a photo para makita niyo kung siya ay manipulated o hindi another thing is yan dinemonstrate ko na sa inyo kanina yan uh, has anyone did this already or nakakaalam nito yung image reverse search it's a way for you to search images throughout the internet para makita niyo kung siya ba ay valid o hindi kung saan yung pinaka source saan siya, pina- siya, saan siya nang galing, ano yung mga references niya, you can use uh, this technique which is image reverse search. Uh, you can also use what we call TinEye. This is a, uh, a website on which you could see a lot of things. Uh, recently, lalong-lalo na itong photo na to, which has spurred a lot of controversies, uh, I've used TinEye on this. And uh, malayong-malayo sa storya na yan. 
Okay. And you can also use this using the following technologies. Ito, ito, Google Image Search, Bing Visual Search. Uh, pero ang pinaka ma-recommend ko sa inyo is yung Tin Eye Reverse Image Search. Kasi pinaka, pati yung pinaka-source niya nandoon. Yung mga uh, date and timestamps nandoon. Okay? So, I'm just going to wrap this all up with that, some of the tips. Uh, if you want to spot some of the red flags in terms of misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation, uh, if the information is intended to invoke a strong emotion within you, hinay-hinay uh, tayo. Let's, let's pause and reflect. Wag muna tayo mag-react. Uh, another thing is that if the information is poorly edited, uh, not to the point that it's really editorial, <laughs> Dahan-dahan tayo, huwag tayo mag-share agad. And uh, the, the next one is, had no valid source, which is for accountability. Yun yung titingin nyo palagi, kung yung bang source na yun, nakikita nyo sa internet to the point that you can uh, pinpoint kung sino yung first-hand information, kung sino yung pinaka-source. Another thing is that uh, checkpoints do, is that to evaluate the source, find multiple sources, kasi you can have the source, but if you do not, find multiple multiple sources this will not give you a critical sense of everything that you're researching and verify it yourself if you can do a similar way to find it also uh, with the information presented with you because uh, i do believe <laughs> we are living in the world of the matrix on which everything can be uh, questioned everything can be not real can be fake can be uh, a simulation. Everything can be a simulation. Even life itself can be a simulation if you're doing a lot of things on a repetitive routine, a repetitive manner. So I think, are we living in the matrix? And uh, ito, isa sa mga tips na to, disconnect yourself. Uh, have a social media break for ti from time to time, real or physical. Mas maganda yung if you have uh, real connections in real life. Uh, do not let the internet, especially social media, eat your life and do a social media detox. And uh, play the dinosaur game for some, from, from time to time. Uh, tips to prevent mis, uh, this and malinformation. Always take information with a grain of salt, like Salt Bay. No. <laughs> do not easily believe on anyone on the internet. Check source intention and check your biases and fallacies. Uh, we cannot easily spot our biases, but we can also reference ourselves with the fallacies. Pag-aralan nyo yung mga fallacies, mga logical fallacies, red herring, straw man, ano, -ano pa. Um, improve your critical thinking by applying the Socratic method, which is questioning even the smallest things, but not probing to the point that you are very uh, ano, obtrusive. Question everything and ask proven questions such as the 5Y framework. Okay, uh, meron mo sa inyo nakarinig, nakarinig na ng 5Y framework. Actually, this is a spur from the Socratic method. But, ayan. Uh, the best way for the truth to prevail, ito ah, uh, this is my personal quote. The best way to, pro for, the, the best way to for truth to prevail is not have just the information, but wisdom. Kasi information is overflowing right now. But we also need to provide wisdom backed up with data, challenging both parties in an unbiased point of view while eradicating logical fallacies and personal agendas. Actually, yun yung pinaka-definition ko on how to prevent uh, miss this and mal. Uh, 